and they're moving on and Filch is like, oh, they're not here. I'm going to go look somewhere else kind of thing. They kind of turn around and realize exactly what they stumbled into. A giant three-headed fluffy dog. I (laughs) (laughs) I want to call bullshit so hard right now. Because on what? I don't care what you're running from. Doesn't matter how terrified you are. If you run into a corridor and something like that is behind you, it will make itself known. Because when they turn around, it's already eyeball fucking them. Like, it's deciding which part it wants to eat first. Maybe it's stealthy. And, like, my dog, when he sees something he wants to eat, he starts moving all around and barking and growling like he's getting excited or, and that's a three-headed dog so it should be even more fucking crazy or it's just a loving dog set there for show <laughs> what are you doing i don't think jade believes you its eyes are rolling and its teeth are yellow and they're slobber it's an angry dog. Ryan, it's pissed off. It's big scary. It's like... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Cerberus? Is it Cerberus? Do you know what I'm talking about? Three-headed dog that guards hell. Oh, yeah. I think you're right. Hades dog? They're not nice. <laughs> They're not... The, they have a reputation of being shitty dogs. That dog yeah. wasn't raised by Hagrid. He's but... just borrowing Satan's dog for a minute. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. They just borrowed Satan's dog? Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna skip... For just a hair, uh, Ron points out that no dog that size should be left in a castle like that because it's wrong, which I really loved about his character. He cared about animal That's rights. That's because he wants Hermione. They don't like her right now. I mean... That's all part of the facade, Chantel. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously, you gotta poke fun before you can initiate. Anyway, sorry, Jim. Or he could be a good person. That that cares about the dog. The I don't know. Is it one dog or is it three? It's got like three heads but one body. Both. <laughs> I'll go with that. It doesn't take three shits. It takes one shit. It's one dog. It just has three heads. If it took three shits, it would be three dogs. Where does the shit go? Who cleans it up? Probably Hagrid. <laughs> does it say, is he chained up? In there, or is he just in there? Doesn't say. Because that might be why they didn't notice him right away. They get back after this fun adventure to the common room, and the fat lady asks where they are. Real quick, portraits. Can do they, they... Do each other? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't going there. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to ask is just... We've talked about how they're a shadow of a person before. I am just a little bit curious about how, if if they can have, like, a connection with a person, right? Or are they just kind of a recording? You know what I mean? I kind of thought of it as a GIF or a GIF, 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 Mm -hmm. whatever. (laughs) That's a whole nother debate. You can all choose the way you want to say it, but it's like that. It's kind of a repeating short little video, but... Then the fat lady, like, disappears, and she's just gone for a little while, which means it's not just a little video, like, it's a person. She hangs out with her friends or whatever. Yeah, but if that's the case, then, like, what if you have more than two photos, I guess? Is there just multiple little shadows of you around that have their own little mini life? Right. Like, at what point is it? terrible crime against humanity to take a picture of somebody because there's so many pictures being taken yeah that i guess that was my question because later in the series we hear more about the fat lady because she's been there a long time she was there when molly was there i just wonder if after all the years that she's there with harry and ron that she does she create a bond with them or she just is flat 2d hologram of a person I think it's a good argument, like, not an argument, but it's a good point. Like, yeah. We don't really know. Like, I don't think they really touch base on that. Do they have feelings and emotions towards other things, or are they just only in that moment of their portrait? Would the fat lady vouch for you? If she had, after, maybe not first year, but after two, three years of you 
having this person be your gatekeeper for your common room. Do you form a bond? Is she going to, if Dumbledore is like, hey, did Harry sneak out last night? Is she going to repeat what you did or is she going to vouch for you? I think that kind of goes on a case by case basis. Like, what favors did you do the fat lady? <laughs> Her whole job is to stand there and open the fucking door. That'd be pretty boring. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of favors a painting could want, but I suppose you could have a working relationship with it. If you had something it needed, you could exchange favors for silence, like the fucking mob. <laughs> Hermione... She gets her snarky little I'm right self right back in there. And Bitch. as yeah. they're talking about the three-headed dog, likes to point out, didn't you see what it was standing on? So we now know that it's not just there. It's guarding something. And they were clearly in the forbidden third floor corridor that was not to be entered. Real quick. What defines a corridor? I feel like it's a hallway. I think a corridor is a hallway with doors on either end. Okay. I was thinking about it as like a wing. Do you guys think there's other doors inside of this room other than the trap door? A corridor, the definition is a long passage in a building from which doors lead into rooms. That's literally what it means. Okay. So there's It's like a hallway should... with a bunch of doors on it. By then, that definition, there should be other doors in this room leading to other places. Absolutely. I My thinking on it was not that, and you'll appreciate my reference to this, but my thinking on it was like from Beauty and the Beast, where he's like, don't go into the West Wing. That was my yes take yes. on it, I guess you'd say. that. In my head, I was thinking, like, it's a wing. It's like a whole hallway that leads to, like, a door or something over there that you can't go into. I think a wing might have maybe not several, but multiple corridors. Could that be? It, it could. Like, one wing has maybe two or three hallways, that, corridors. I mean, probably. I most I likely know. would be wrong about it, but in my head... <laughs> That's We've what been I thought. In hotels with wings that have multiple corridors. That's true. That's, I guess that was my thinking. This corridor, quote unquote, is at the end of a hallway. Is at the end of the Charms Corridor, and it, the only room we ever see coming off of this corridor is the trap door. And so I'm just confused. James, you have something to say? The third floor corridor isn't off bounds it's as dumbledore puts it at the breakfast for, during the sorting ceremony the third door corridor on the right hand side is out of bounds to everybody so only the right hand side of the third floor corridor huh okay so you could go right or left you, so you the third floor corridor is allowed to students you're just not allowed on the right side of the third floor corridor. Okay. That was my mind going right there. <laughs> I appreciate you reading. <laughs> I appreciate you reading that, but it's, it almost makes it more confusing because we just read this chapter all together. We read that they ran from the trophy room for a long time through the corridor with the armor in it, another corridor or two. They get to the Charms Corridor. There's multiple corridors. Right. On the third floor. We are stay on the third floor through this whole chapter. Not the whole chapter. Through this whole part. It is confusing as fuck for me to have Dumbledore be like, the third floor corridor on the right. Because that is not even an actual direction. <laughs> like, as a... I think descriptively, we're getting more information then we can kind of process as, like visually as to how this corridor is set up and how the floor is set up. I'm just saying, as a 29-year-old, knowing there's multiple corridors on the third floor, I don't know what the fuck Dumbledore is talking about. And he get a, I, I don't blame them at all for stumbling upon this room, which is not a corridor. It's a room until someone tells me there's a classroom off of it. True story. And then, 
Harry immediately knows that the package is down there, though. He does. Yeah. He's, He's got like that shit spot figured on out. about that. He's like, oh, there's a trap door. Big, scary, three-headed dog guarding something. It's got to be that. You know whose fault that is? Hagrid's. Yep. It's Hagrid's. Yeah, absolutely. Feeding him these little lines of information, and he doesn't even know it. No safer place than Gringotts or Hogwarts. You got two options. It's not at Gringotts anymore. Where do you think it's going to be? He brought it with him. Obviously, that's what's there. If the clipping didn't exist on his table, Harry probably would have forgotten completely about that package. So, love Hagrid, but way to go, bud. Way to go. He's not the sharpest crane in the toolbox. <laughs> that was too smushed into one. That was beautiful, Nate. Beautiful. That's Thank my you. husband. Thank you. That is a great way to wrap up this chapter here. <laughs> You're my hypocrite. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. But we are officially done now. We have yep. made it to the end. The wine has been very good tonight. Very <laughs> nice. We also tried a little taste of something for summer, and I don't think anybody really likes it. But, you know, it's like healthy drinking. It's sparkling water, hard sparkling water. You're like drinking water and alcohol at the same time. I feel like that's kind of like a cool thing. <laughs> Definitely a good summer drink. I don't think it's actually going to make you hydrated, but it's nice to delude yourself to that. <laughs> Keep in touch and make sure you leave us any reviews that you want to. <laughs> we'll see you back for the next episode, guys. Goodbye. See ya. Well, that's our show, everybody. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you wanted to reach out to us, you can. Our email is podcastatt at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook uh, by searching all the things or at podcastatt. Our Instagram and Twitter are podcast underscore att. And if you're interested in helping us grow, you can find us at Patreon at podcast underscore att as well. Thanks. Catch you next time.